guys, so I thought I would do something different. Um, everyone does different tours, like car tours, or bathroom tours, or room tours. Um, but I thought I would do something different for all my fellow nerds out there. Um, I have decided to do a comic book tour. If you guys aren't nerds, you might want to just stop watching this video right now because you're not going to get anything out of it. But if you like comic books, well, come check out my comic book collection. It's, um, growing. <laughs> I, uh, haven't, I only started, like, really collecting my own comic books recently, like, within the last few months. So that's why my collection isn't ginormous. But it's getting there. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to run you through um, the different comics I read every month. So, yay! And collect. Because some of them I don't read every month anymore. Because some of them aren't coming out anymore. To start, I figured I'd start where I started. The thing that got me reading comics was, and I mean, <laughs> shocking, but Joss Whedon, um, he got me to fall in love with comics through reading Astonishing X-Men. Um, I have the trade of, like, the main story arc, the biggest story arc there was. Um, and then I have a couple just, um, stand or just issues that I have, because, um, my brother actually had extra, so he gave them to me, and I was like, yeah. So, Astonishing X-Men is what got me into comics, got me loving comics, and, um, so, yeah, that's where I started, because Joss Whedon, I mean, he can make, I honestly think Joss Whedon could probably make me love China Dolls. He's that amazing. So, also in the Joss Whedon area of my comic book collection, um, we have Buffy, The Long Way Home, which it was, um, just another of the big story arc after um, this the show ended. Um, and if you are a fan of Buffy the show, you should really read the comics because it picks up like right, um, I think it's a couple months after the series ended on TV. And I mean, it's just amazing because you get to keep up with all your favorite characters and see that you were right about a certain couple that should be together and well I was right all along. Also under the Joss Whedon realm I have this um I have this graphic novel for Spike called Shadow Puppets and if you've ever seen the Angel episode Smile Time which has got to be one of the best episodes of Angel ever this is kind of like an offshoot or a sequel to that actually uh, where they run back uh, they run into the Smile Time puppets again, and Spike and Angel get turned into puppets, so it's, uh, it's pretty freaking hilarious. And then, also in the Joss Whedon category, we have a couple Serenity comics. We have the Serenity one-shots, the one about Wash, where you find out that Zoe's pregnant with Wash's baby. And then, this Serenity one-shot is pretty good, too. And it's actually written by Zach Whedon, Joss Whedon's brother. So, so another standalone, um, just uh, graphic novel I have is the Boondock Saints graphic novel. But yeah, it's the it goes back and talks about um, their dad and stuff, and it's really good. The art's kind of weird. I, I don't know if you can see. The art's kind of weird, but other than if you can get past the art, it's really good. So now we're going to move into the, the series and stuff, the more substantial comics that I read. Um, so it's kind of funny because when I started falling in love with comics after Astonishing X-Men, I really fell in love with Green Lantern. And I mean, that's all I read was Green Lantern. Um, especially, oh, Green Lantern Rebirth. Amazing. Jeff Johns is like the Kevin Feige of the DC world. Kevin Feige is like the Jeff Johns of the Marvel world. 
But it's kind of funny because I don't own one issue of a Green Lantern comic at all. I just um, read off of what my brother had. And, uh, yeah. And I haven't read Green Lantern. I, I miss the whole um, Brightest Day thing. I miss that entire series curve. Uh, so I don't, still don't know a lot of what's happening there. <laughs> but I started collecting Green Arrow. And so that's one of the series that I collect. Um, I just started, because it's so hard when a series has been running since the 70s. It's hard to just pick up an issue off the shelf and go, I'm going to read Green Arrow. So, I started at the New 52, when they restarted everything in the DC Universe. And so that's what I've been reading, is just after the New 52 took over. And then, also for Green Arrow, I started reading the Arrow um, comics that's based off the TV show on the CW, which is really good, by the way. Um, so yeah, I think I missed issue 2, because issue 3 is suddenly out, but I'll, I'll have to get that. Another funny thing to me is that I started falling in love, um, I started really reading comics only in the DC universe, and now <laughs> Green Arrow is the only DC comic I read at all. Um, everything else is Marvel or Image, so that's kind of weird, I thought. Um, so yeah, next up... <sighs> Let's switch to all my Avengers. I have a pretty substantial Avengers array. Um, I have Civil War, of course, because if you're going to read Avengers, you got to read Civil War. It's it's really good, and it really, really makes you hate Spider-Man. And I don't really even like Spider-Man as it is. But after you read Civil War, you really <laughs> don't like Spider-Man. <laughs> um, and then I just have this um, graphic novel, it's Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers, and it's just... Um, and then I have this, which came with the Avengers DVD, and I have not read this one yet, actually. I should do that. And then I started reading this new Avengers series. Um, it's written by Jonathan Hickman, is like the lead author on it, and it's really, really good. Um, it's up to issue four now. I just bought issue four, and it's so good. It is a really good series. Another series, I don't have any of the comics because I actually share this series with my brother. Um, he just holds on to all of them, is Revival. Mind-blowing. Revival is um, just a short synopsis. It's a comic about this like area in Wisconsin where just all the dead start coming back to life for no reason. And, um, like, at first everything's normal, and they appear to be just like they were, and then, so yeah, it's crazy, because, like, people are coming back to life, and no one knows why, and then, like, um, there's just, like, all these, these things coming up that are, like, really confusing, but at the same time, we're like, whoa, that's really interesting, where the crap are they going with this? So, yeah, it's, it's a really good series, you guys should totally look it up, it's, yeah, whoa. Next, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you Gambit. So, okay, Gambit was the first, and I, I mean, seriously, watching the old X-Men cartoon um, when I was little, Gambit was just incredible. And he was the first superhero that I actually was like, I want to, I, I, you know, I like him, I want to be like him, you know. So, I love Gambit, and I love what they've done with this new series. It's really, really good. Um, and it's up to issue seven, eight. It's up to issue eight. So, yeah, I have them backwards. That's why I was confused. But yeah, it's up to issue eight already. Um, it's really good. You should check it out. So next we move on to my second favorite comic book series. Um, well, I guess comic book character. Um, okay, my first, <laughs> my second favorite comic to read, my favorite superhero. So, 
we have my Hawkeye collection. Yay! So I have the, um, the Ultimate Comics Hawkeye trade, um, which is really good. And the art is, oh man, the art is just, let's see if I can find out the different covers. We're so, so well done. Look at that. Amazing artwork for the covers. Um, and then, for a very brief, brief stint, um, Captain America, um, I think they're still doing some, but um, Captain America is doing different issues with different um, Avengers, and for four issues, I think, there are only three issues, he did um, a couple issues with Hawkeye. And those issues were really good, too. Um, and then, I just have kind of like some random collectible issues. I have two the uh, Hawkeye and Mockingbird. And, and then I have an Avengers Solo. And it's Hawkeye. And then I have this really old one. And it's Avengers Spotlight. And it's Hawkeye against the Horde of the Orb. It's a really old one. Um, and then course you have the new Hawkeye series which is just oh my goodness so incredible so freaking hilarious um yeah it is just it, it it's amazing and <laughs> like seriously if you have not read the new Hawkeye series go on to um Google Images or um if you're a Tumblr go on to your Tumblr and type in Hawk Blocked freaking hilarious um they did it they did something uh, in the comic and it became known as hawk block and it just kind of like exploded and it's awesome so then my last big um collection my last big piece of the collection is my favorite comic to read i look forward to like okay <laughs> I look forward to it every month, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to read the next issue because I don't know what's going to happen. And that amazingness would be A Walking Dead. This comic has been going on for 20 years. And it's just, yeah, it is incredible. And I have both the um, huge compendiums. And then I am now starting on single issues, which I will tell you really sucks when you read two huge compendiums worth of comics and then you have to wait month to month for the new issue. It sucks so bad. It's a bad idea to get started on Walking Dead, but it's so good. So, so very good, but so, so very bad when they kill people off that you love. So that, my wonderful viewers, is my comic book collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted just to do something different, and this seemed different and nerdy, which is always what I strive for, is to be as nerdy as possible. Because when you love something, you have to show it. And, yeah, so. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me for this comic book tour. And I will see you guys later.